Hi, so right now we're going to go over how to use the Amplify simulation on forces in motion. So first, if you are in your Edge Elastic, you're just going to click the link. You'll notice underneath there is a, pass a login and a password in case you need to also log in. So we're going to click the link. So if you haven't signed into Amplify before, which you probably haven't, you are going to be going to the Login to Amplify button. So clicking on to Login with Amplify. I've already saved my password, but you are going to type in remote learning at tryamplify.net. And the password, as you saw on the Edge Elastic, is remote learning 2020. So once you are logged in, it should take you exactly to this site. And if I go over here, I can see what level I'm on and I want to stay in this open explore. Later, we'll have different missions, but right now we're going to be an open explore. So we're not going to worry about adding additional objects or targets yet. So we're going to go to this run button. So you can see this blinking light. So we're going to hit run. Here, I can see that I can measure velocity and force. So I want to keep those. And I want to actually prepare for. So I'm going to click this. So on here, I have different directions of the force. And also, I can also, because I'm, I'm preparing it, I can also decide how big I want the force to be. So right now, I'm hitting with three forces to the left. So now I'm going to hit exert. Possibly, I want to then apply different forces in different directions or in the same direction to just see how that changes. So after that, I can either reset by clicking up here so I can pause it, I can reset it and have it go over, or I can just analyze what happened. So right now I'm just gonna analyze what happened to object A. So I'm gonna drag this to the beginning. I'm gonna just kind of fast forward. Over here, I'm gonna be able to see what the current velocity is horizontally, so going side to side and also vertically. And I can also see the kinetic energy, which we will talk about in a couple weeks. So when I exerted my first force of 30, I can see that the horizontal velocity was negative 3. And that tells me about the direction and also the size of the force, the size of the velocity. And then when applying a 10 fo Newton force to the other direction, it went down, the velocity went to negative 2 and then negative one, stopping, and then going back to the negative one. So using the analyze, I can find data about how this changed, and using the run, I can test different scenarios in order to see what I think will happen and what I want to happen. So if I did one scenario, I can hit reset and be able to start over. Also, just know that you don't need to do multiple forces. You might just do one force and hit exert and just see what happens. Even if it's moving, I can still go to the analyze and just see what's happening. So that is how to build, how to set up forces, how to change the direction of forces by experimenting with that force button to see what the effect will be. If you have problems, make sure that you are emailing or chatting me so that way we can troubleshoot anything. You will have more complicated scenarios later on, but this is just really to just have an open explore and be able to collect some data on your observations.